So when we initially teach breathing for stability, we like to use this position, a three month position with the legs up, uh, propped up on like your couch or uh, uh, ottoman, whatever it may be, because it allows us to take the legs and arms out of it and we can really find a neutral position and be able to breathe through the abdomen. So when we first start learning this, we wanna take it nice and slow and make sure we're feeling the right things. A lot of mindfulness is required here. So we're, we're, we're work, blah, blah, blah. So we'll, we will work you through it little pieces so you get the feeling of breathing in an unloaded with legs down versus a loaded position so then we can start building up efficiently from there. All right, so start with your legs up and then your knees should be about belly button level and then we're going to push the small of the back down into the ground so get the rib cage and the belt line or pelvis together. At this point we're going to hang out here and then focus on breathing deep into the abdomen. and not breathing up into the chest, which would look like this. So take one hand in your heart, one hand in your belly button, and then minimize the breath up into the chest, maximize it down the belly button. You should see my hand raised towards the ceiling. Think about breathing down into your pelvis, like you're stretching out your belt line or your yoga pants, whatever you're wearing, stretching it out 360 degrees with your breath like you're filling out a balloon. So the deeper you breathe low, low, the more pressure you'll feel in the back here. So you can take an L and then wrap the index finger in the front, thumb in the back, and feel for that. Breathe deep. And breathe out, good. Once you have that, next we'll do, is can we feel abs versus diaphragm, right? So first we'll do a squeeze, abs, and then push the belly out like a Buddha belly. Good, that's diaphragm. Abs, Buddha belly. Abs, Buddha belly. Good. Now we have the difference there, right? So we don't want to squeeze those abs when we're breathing. That's why we're going through that part. Next, we're going to breathe deep and then breathe out, trying to maintain some pressure. So not fully breathing out, almost like a half exhale and then breathe back in. Right? So this is breathing while maintaining pressure. This is important because we want to be able to breathe and maintain it when we're doing upright activities like squatting, lunging, hinging, whatever else it may be. So learning it here is imperative to be able to do it when you're in an upright position. Okay, now that we have those steps, one, just filling up the abdomen 360 degrees, we have abs versus the Buddha belly or diaphragm, and then we have the breathing and maintaining pressure. We're gonna to try to breathe and maintain pressure while loaded. That means now having to support our legs up in the air, which means our core has to be on. When our core is on doing this, it may limit our ability to expand, right? So what we'll do is start here, and then we'll take a, a couple deep breaths, breathe in, breathe out, and the next breath in, I'm gonna lift up my right leg, breathe out, maintain pressure, and do a few more breaths. And all I'm trying to do is maintain the same feel here as I did with my leg down. And I'll bring the leg down. Next breath in, left leg up. And breathe out. Same thing. Maintain pressure, trying to recreate the same feeling as the right leg. Good. And then next, we'll do both legs. So I'll breathe in, leg up. Breathe in, other leg up, small of the back, flat on the ground, same thing. Does this breath expansion feel the same as it did with one leg up and with the legs down? If it doesn't, that's okay. You wanna build up toward it so you can get that full expansion while up in this position like it did with the legs down. And then one last thing, if you're having a hard time pushing your back flat, you may have to think about scooping your tailbone up toward the ceiling, which will also bring your knees closer up towards your chest. That is okay, because the main goal of this is to get the rib caging and belt line connected, because if we're not connected there, we're not gonna be able to get this 360 degree breathing. So don't be afraid to bring the legs up like this, and like literally scooping your tailbone up where your belt line is coming off the ground.